Hey folks, welcome back to Stranded Alien Dawn. I paused the screen right here as a pancoth was kind of floating through the night sky. You can hear all the crickets in the background. They're all over the studio. <laughs> Feels like I'm there. And also, it, the game just gave me a long, ominous peal of thunder. Just rumbled and rolled all through the studio. So, we've got a thunderstorm coming in, and we've got... 87 aggressive scarabai right over here all sound asleep and and the music's too loud right now I wonder if you could hear little tiny snorings <laughs> I, I uh, commented on that at the end of last episode but I wonder but yeah anyway these guys have all finally gotten to bed attack starts at 3 a.m. and like usual if I keep the game on pause, the music gets louder and louder, so I'm yelling over it. As soon as I unpause it, it gets quiet, and there we go. Rita's actually just arriving to go to sleep to get up in an hour. How's Rita doing? Rest is what's hurting her the most, <clears throat> but she'll be okay. Happiness is pretty much maxed out or on its way to be. But 1 a.m. Turn this down. to. There we go. Another hour, I'm waiting for that thunderstorm, I'm waiting for another roll of thunder to come through to confirm that I wasn't just imagining that. Lightning storm right there it is, right during an attack. That's, that's spooky stuff. Speaking of attack though, I think I better get them going. So, yeah, unfortunately. Uh, let's just do a, a mass draft. And let's get Paulette down here immediately, because she's the slowest one now. And I like her on the front corner. She's got the stun gun, and let her have this whole corner here. Rita, you've got some distance to you with your railgun sniper. You can head over here. So does Edmund. That's your corner over there. Carter, you can be over here. Yeah, right there. And then, let's see, Simon, you can give Carter a hand. Kana, you can give Edmund a hand. Umayar, why don't you jump in something like there. I think that's everybody. Let's find out here. Control. Let's see, can I? Oh, I can't mass select them easily. If I do that and choose four survivors, three survivors, how do you get seven survivors? There we go. And their pathways looks about right. Anybody not moving? Nope, they're all moving. Okay, so they're on their way. These guys are... They don't know that they're pre-programmed to, to uh, go into attack mode here in a few moments. Rain has begun. Batteries could use a good recharge. Yeah, when this is done, we may have full batteries. And thankfully, we have this lightning rod just sitting here waiting in case this situation ever occurred. Though I wish I could make this circle smaller and just cover this and let lightning take some bugs out. That'd be fine. But they are on their way. We are definitely there, right? Haven't missed anybody? Everybody's got a hand on them. I don't know what the hand means, but they uh, seem to be uh, heading down to to be ready for war. And here they come. So 87 Scarabai. What's that look like from their vantage point? That meteor coming through. That is Rita in her armor, huh? Boy, it's hard to zoom in on, on people. It's such a, a large radius when you go to spin the camera around. All right, we have movement yet? We do. Here they come. Wow. It's like a, an ant hill's been disturbed, and now all the, all the ants are on their way down. Okay, who's got the first shot here? Boom, there's Rita. Rita, there you are. Okay, so Edmund and Carter should both be shooting any second now. There they go. Now, it's just Scarabai. And directing them and fine-tuning all this, Simon is just... Yeah, Simon may be too far away to 
Simon, why don't you move over one notch? Over there. That way you're out of Carter's firing range anyway. There we go. And everybody's shooting now. Get you snagged in the traps. Sun's coming up. Damaged brick structures. Let's see it from this direction. Where's that lightning rod? Right there. Maybe we can catch that if it hits. Oh! -hoo. <laughs> Just like that. Anyway, wow, there's a lot of them here. We're going to be going through a brick wall soon. Yeah, this one's getting a little overwhelming. Hmm. It's probably time to get serious about that wall and get serious about a more permanent uh, defensive structure. We could go in with some... No, I thought they would be there. Uh, can't think what they're called. The, the boom boom traps. Is that under something else? No. Oh, we haven't researched it yet. That's why. Incendiary traps. That's why. Okay. That would take out... Well, from what I've seen from other playthroughs, it just kind of takes out the one that runs into it. So, helpful with a lot bigger bugs with a lot more hit points. Kind of a waste on these guys. These guys, if you just got to work your way through them. Mostly just got to be vigilant that malfunction trap. Really? That's a thing? Ah. That's only happened once in the entire playthrough, so it's not really a thing. Anyway, traps, uh, damage structures, being vigilant as far as combat too good as a brick wall going down and then noticing when the floors are starting to be eaten out from under them. That's when it gets a little more serious. It would be good to make these concrete, but we're not going to keep this structure here. There's a lot of stun bugs. There really are. Paulette is doing a great job here. They're chomping away at that brick. Man, they want in there. Just keep stunning them, Paulette. Anybody through yet? No. Don't see any holes. Yeah, I'm down to eight bugs left. They got this. I really do. Anybody not shooting? Con is done. And whatever that last shot was. There's a bug right here. That was the last one. Okay. That is done. Um, I will go through, clean up this mess, and meet you on the flip side. Alright, so they've all pretty much got orders. Most of them are butchering. Edmund was starving, so I set him up to get something fun to eat so that uh, he'll come back a happy camper. <laughs> They're all going to be a little cranky today from midnight battles, not enough sleep. That's unfortunate because it kind of messes up the first half of an episode whenever that happens, but, yeah, it happens. So, lots of traps to reset at some point. Um, yeah, they, they know what they're doing. So, how are we doing? We could then take off and do a couple of expeditions. They can sleep on the way. Hmm, we have plenty of CPUs at the moment, right? We have six. That's all we have are CPUs. So we don't really need another run to that that one uh, backup so we can see all of our lightning rods. That one expedition where the free CPUs were available. So we'll do something different this time. But yeah, I think it's time to get all the wood hauled in. We don't have any lack of wood, so it's there's enough to do the fence line. It's not calling for a shortage right now. Um, people are transporting. Yeah, a lot of them are going to come up here and hopefully get something to eat and sleep and do what they need to on their own, but we'll see. Kana decided not to. She's just going to go work on a circuit board. Kana, you need a meal. Um, and <laughs> we really need those circuit boards too, so may as well just let her. Buttermelon pie... That will take care of your happiness as well. Okay, you go do that. Um, how's everybody else doing? Carter is famished. 
He's transporting, and hopefully he'll figure that out on his own. Umayar is researching, and probably best to leave him. Doesn't like it outside, and it's raining, so there's a bunch of negatives stacked against him. Edmund, how are you doing? You are going back down there to get back to work. Okay, Simon is transporting for repairs. Oh, that's right, we set him last time for... Wow, this storm is something else. We set him last time to deliver. So that's what he's doing. We just hit a pole right over there. What is that? And Rita is planting? Rita. No, nope. plant. Well, you are kind of covered. If I hit move, Rita. Right in here. You're in that. No, this is covered. It's this area that's not. Okay. Um, anyway. Get out of that. Did that storm just end? Oh. One more lightning strike? We'll see. No, we still have thunderstorm. It just hasn't uh, officially shut down yet. And we still do. Okay, that rain may be coming right back. I don't trust it. Simon is transporting wood. Be great if he transported meat, but uh, Edmund can probably handle that. Oh, this hasn't been turned off yet. Or I thought it did. I thought we'd get rid of that. Let's go to foods. Raw foods. Okay, I thought we got rid of those. We just want probably pickled vegetables. Now we turn those off. Just bush fruits down here. And for the winter, that's fine. But they're not going to deliver them down here anyway. Let's put the pickled vegetables in here too. Have a meal down here in case someone is just absolutely starving. And they can't make it back without getting a Snickers bar. Because they've turned into a diva and are going to have a breakdown. <laughs> Henman, go for it. <laughs> anyway... Oh, thunderstorm finally went away. Okay. No last minute strikes taking any of us out. Okay, so Edmund is down there doing his thing. Carter is going to go help him. Seems like Edmund and Carter would be the best ones to bring back materials, though they have the highest physical. What if we shouldn't send them off? Carter, what are you looking like? You're hurting on relaxation, but you're good everywhere else. Come up and grab a seat. Is that... I wonder what is considered the fastest rate of... Carter liked to sit. That's right. No, it wasn't him. Who was it that enjoyed sitting in an overstuffed chair? I thought there was somebody like that. Anyway. Quick sleeper. Glutton. He gets hungry. Oh, I didn't realize that. Edmund gets hungry quicker. Anyway, um... Edmund... You've got food. You come up and sit in the other chair. And you guys just sit and relax for a little bit. Then you're both going to take off. So we need somebody else. Umayar, why don't you grab a meal? Why don't you get some bread? You enjoy that. And then... Yeah. I'm going to send you down and do some more butchering. You can handle everything on this side. You do these five and that one. Or two. And then, Kana, you're actually in pretty good shape. So you come on down right now and do the rest of these. Butcher those, those, and those. And we'll see where we're at after that. Uh, Rita, you're fertilizing. You finally got to... What? Is this one marked for fertilize? No. That's an, an... That's turned off. That's turned off. I wonder if she can fertilize without planting. Is that what she's doing? There's no fertilize there. That one won't let me. These won't let me. Huh. Don't know what she's fertilizing. But... I'm going to claim her. No, I'm not. I'm going to get you to get something to eat. So you dive in and grab a meat pie. And I think you need to go to bed. 
It's only 11 in the morning and you're down to 38%. Okay, Rita's over here. You go ahead and go to sleep after that. Anyway, let's get Carter and Edmund just about their cargo pod. A cargo pod made a crash landing in a close vicinity. If left as is, anything salvageable will perish within the following days. Well, <clears throat> about our first mission. We'll send Edmund to that one. He seems... We'll say he's the most experienced. Insufficient storage space for more meats. Okay. I wish I could... I wonder if I can. Can I get all of the shelves and do something with them? Shelves? Nope. I've got to select them all individually. Okay. Um, this is all a freezer now. It's 15 degrees in there. So all of the foods can go in them. Same thing here. Okay. That should take care of all the randomness that keep getting forgotten, like meals when they don't fit in the in the freezers themselves. Alright, Simon's transporting. Kana is butchering. Good. So, uh, Carter is sitting. Edmund is sitting. Rita is eating. Paulet is making more eats. Umayar is eating before he heads down to help Kana. Okay. So they're going to be a little bit, though I don't want to forget them and have them all run all the way back down again to start butchering because Carter and Edmund are both hunters. I'm just looking to see if anything new has popped into our map while we're, we've got 15 in-game minutes to kill here. Now well, it looks pretty calm, although the wind just kicked up. Well, those clouds look ominous. All right, they're not there. Where'd they go? Wow, they're fast, dudes. <laughs> okay, let's just make this happen. So, balloon one, expedition, going to through those clouds over there. Armory bay, debris, cargo pod. Cargo pod is three. No is 10 hours away. It said nearby. Huh. Okay. Well, you're in Edmund. So, send an expedition. And... Armory... Bay Debris. Turn you off. Supercomputer... Spaceship Debris. 11 hours. Cruise Ship Debris. 10 hours. Spaceship debris, 8 hours. Spaceship debris, 11 hours. Let's go... F well... Spaceship debris. I hope I don't bring back just more of the... You know, the scrap metal like we get out of our own spaceship debris. Um, let's go for Armory Bay. That'll be a Carter this time. Relevant skills physical. Okay. And send an expedition. Okay. So expedition and Edmund. Draft, undraft, expedition. Okay, they're on their way. Simon is transporting. Simon, I think I need you to help out. Though you need a meal, but... Yeah, come on out here and do some butchering. Is there anything left? Not already reserved? There's two right there. What's over on this side? All reserved. I think we got all of these. And guys, you need to not be here. You're going to get caught in a trap, aren't you? Oh, dude, dude. Yeah, you are. Okay. Hunt you down. You're incapable of getting out of it. And you're incapable of, of healing, unfortunately. All right, we got a few left over here, too. So, Simon... Uh, I think Rita has to be the hunter on that one. Simon, you can take care of these. Oh, these didn't get triggered for automatic butchering. So, there's another one there. Any others? Yeah, that's all of them. Okay. So, Rita, you went to sleep, didn't you? Okay. When you wake up, let's have you... Appreciate a shroom torch and then go down here and hunt. Okay. 
that everybody? <clears throat> yeah, I think so. The woman not doing anything by orders is Paulette, and she's doing exactly what we need her to do. There goes Edmund. Carter got his couple of meals, and he's taken off. Too bad they didn't both leave at the same time. <laughs> See you later. Any way to... There we go. Well, almost. If I zoom out further, there I can see them both. Okay, I think everything is butchered now. All the last minute transporting is being done. I need to get somebody down here. There's a bone picker. What a name. Someone down here to get all the traps reset and all the, uh, the walls repaired. Um, I guess that kind of falls on Akana's shoulders. Yeah. Looks like everything is pretty much replanted that we need. We have enough grain to last us forever. So we skipped those. This is the only one that wouldn't hurt to get them in the ground for next year. So that could be a job for Rita. Try to direct her there. Rita, I think you've slept enough. So, yeah, let's send you... Oh, first relax. Okay. So appreciate a shroom torch. And then come on down here. Oh, he got away. Wait a minute here. So, Hunt, turn that off. He's 83 out of 100. He's bleeding but not life-threatening. So let's see if he is more than 83 later. Every time I've seen that, they still eventually drop. But by the time he drops, he's going to be way out here. And it's going to be that much bigger of a job to go butcher him. So it's better just to go hunt him down and be done. Unfortunately. But then Rita head out to here. Rita. Go ahead and get this thing planted up. Too cold. Oh. We are, well, we're 40 degrees out. Oh, I see. One more time, Rita. Okay. You guys... Where is the temperature for planting? Minimum growth. Tolerance. I don't see anything wrong with 41, 40 degrees. It won't grow below 32, but why can't it be planted? Huh. I don't know. It's interesting. Try it again. Nope, too cold. Fertilize smoke leaf field pending planting or harvesting. So that one is set to fertilize. But the fertilize... Oh, click it to turn it off. Is that what it's saying? No. Because that would... It, no. Hmm. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. You're going to go fertilize... Looks like grain cob. But the field is... Don't plant. Okay, let's just do that and see what else you want to do. I'm going to go put your poo away. <laughs> what will you plant now? Now you're just going to transport. Okay. When they fertilize, I'm pretty sure they tear the plant back out. We could test that theory just to see if I'm wrong. So, Rita... Fertilize. Let's watch what happens. But I watched her last time, or many, many episodes ago, probably last fall, and she was tearing the plants out and then fertilizing the ground. And if that's the case, there's no point. Let's just let these things grow. But we'll sit back and see what happens. Now, 10 and 11 hours from when did they leave? 4 or 5 o'clock, maybe? So, hmm... All right, what you gonna do? No, you're just fertilizing. Okay. Okay. All right. We'll let her go. All right then. I heard a moo. Wait a minute. 
Yeah, right. It must have been him. It felt like it was through the wall and to the hallway on the other side. I got to thinking, I don't own any cows. What was that? Simon is refueling. Okay, how are these things doing? Have they just been reloaded? Nope, they're they're getting close to being done. So Simon is doing a bunch of transporting jobs. Okay, emptying that, refilling it. Good. She's fertilizing. Kana is where right now? You are crafting. So tomorrow I'll get you out there doing the traps and the repairs. Umair is drinking tea. Though it's a little late at night to be loading up on caffeine, huh? What is that doing for you? No actual movement. Interesting. Remind me what tea does. I see coffee. I don't see any glasses of tea here. Oh, I just saw one. Where? There. So, tea. There we go. Uh, minor pain relief. Happiness effect. Hmm. So, speaking of pain relief, how is Paulette's health after that lightning strike from such a long time ago? Will you look at that? She's completely healed. Well, you're right. Okay, just take some time. The only one who's still got permanent damage is Edmund. And those brain parasites he had, but it's not much. Negative five and negative five. So that means we're all in good health now, right? Dementia's setting in for Carter. Paulette's fine. Rita's okay, though. Something's going on here. It's maybe from being super tired or something. Maybe, or it's dark outside. That's probably it. Simon is got enhanced features right now because he's a fast walker. Edmund, we know about his. Uh, Khan is fine. Lumiere has... Oh, he's happy being inside, so that gives him a bonus. Okay. I see. And Simon is transporting... Scrap metal down here. Oh, you're repairing a damaged trap. I see. Or at least bringing the materials over to do it. Okay. Curious to see if you'll do the repair or if you're just going to drop them off and turn around. Leave it purple. So 2300 before long. You still need to be hunted. Yep. Okay. So Rita, why don't you come down and do that? That'll be... How you finish your night. So hunt this guy and butcher him and bring in the meat. Wow, I wasn't expecting that. That's right. You got a long range on you. Alright, taking a walk. Now come down here and, and butcher. And I guess you weren't selected. There we go. Butcher and bring it in. Animals migrate. 16. Oh, that's interesting. That's right out of RimWorld too. Get those mass migrations that just move across the whole map. Remember those? <laughs> Everybody drafted, and it was a slaughter. Left dead animals all over the whole map, then spent the whole next day or two hauling muffaloes in, one after the other, and all the butchering and all the meats. And yeah, our red meat right now is 13. No, it's 485. Migration means they're moving across the map, though they appeared right in the middle. That would, would have been nice if they had come over the horizon or something. But I assume they're going to slowly move their way through. We'll see where they are by morning. I want these guys to go get some sleep. Yeah, I think we're, uh, we're done with keeping them up all night. Hmm. They're going to sleep. They're not going anywhere. Maybe we'll go hunt a few of them tomorrow. One in the morning. Okay, Armory Bay. That was Carter. I scavenged as much scrap metal as I could. Unfortunately, I couldn't find any of the more interesting... Anything more interesting this time. Ah, that's a bummer. 
Okay. Well, you bring back as much as we can possibly bring back. As we can, at least. Alright, Edmund, what'd you get? You got emergency rations. I found a crater bearing the name of the spaceship that I was on. Most were badly damaged, but I salvaged some emergency rations. Okay. Well, could have been better on both accounts. But, it's a good haul of scrap metal, I guess. He's probably going to bring in 70. 70 to 80. I think 70 is what Edmund brought in last time. and They're about the same physically. Rita's bringing that in. It's 2 in the morning. That's unfortunate. Well, you did get a nap, though. So you might be fine. Okay. Uh, schedule. I've taken relaxation off the books. Eh, we could put those, put that back on. Maybe for the 8 o'clock hour. Alright, we'll do that. Well, the sun's about to rise. Rita is just getting back. And, yeah. Just eating. Hasn't even slept yet. Alright, so we'll put Rita to bed after this and just leave her there for a while. Though she's got the sniper rifle. Yeah, that is unfortunate. I just realized something. I saw Rita bringing back red meat, not bug meat. So I guess Draka are not considered a bug, even though they've got an exoskeleton. They sure look like a, a beetle right there. But red meat, huh. You know, I never looked. And it's just Olfen. Okay, there's a lot of Draka right here in the same place, just by coincidence. Like, they could be migrating with them. Hmm. Okay, so we're running. Folks are... You know, a couple have gotten up. Paulette is an early riser. Gets into the kitchen, gets to work. Rita's just going to bed. Tell me you're going to do it on your own. You are taking a walk. Okay, Rita, come on to bed. There you go. So, I see our migration is waking up. And they're going to start slowly roaming where? Or are they just going to camp out for six hours like the bugs do? Don't know. We haven't had a migration before. Not on this series. I'm not quite sure how this is going to play out. Um, one in the morning, I'm thinking, was when Simon... And, no, when Edmund... And Carter checked in. So back by noon. Something like that today. Unless the game does pause for them to sleep instead of sleeping while traveling. We'll, we'll test that. If they're not back by noon, then we'll know they, they got a six hour sleep in there before they started flying again. A lot of activity. A lot of fruitcakes being eaten. <laughs> Some bread. Yeah. Hmm. Eating their dessert before their meal. No, just either sleeping or grazing. Maybe they have to wait till the very last one wakes up. Sleeping. Alright, so what we got to do today? Kana, you have a task ahead of you. Though you've got a, a pistol... Which is going to do, hopefully, a little more damage than a crossbolt. Was there any way of knowing that? I don't remember the, seeing a damage. Oh, there it is. So, damage type. But not the actual damage. Huh. Chance to hit, attack rate, and the type. Interesting. So that crossbow is almost worn out. So we need power cells, but in order to make more weapons, that is true. Uh, Railgun sniper, electronics, power cells. Not enough resources. What do we need? Energy crystals. Oh, that's all part of the newest update. There's a plant 
that creates energy crystals. Probably something that's going to harm us as far as not having then started the map all over again where the plants with the energy crystals would have randomly shown up on the map. Great. Now we do have kind of a future proofing built into this series. Rita can discover new, well, she can discover new species or plants or animals, you know, observe them while she goes on an expedition. But it's possible that unless they were in the database when this game was created, that's the only ones that she's going to be able to discover. I don't know. But I guess we're going to have to send Rita out to do a whole bunch of, uh, hmm, a whole bunch of, it, of exploring. Try to find all these new species or new, new types of plants. Darn. Okay. Eight in the morning. People are eating and playing darts and taking walks. Simon is eating some bread. Umayar is standing. Is he officially idling? He is. Okay. Um, anybody in really rough shape? Carter's gone. Paulette is in great shape. Uh, Rita could use some relaxation. She's still sleeping. I think I'm going to wake him, wake her up and send everybody out here to get maybe half of these guys. Yeah, I think this is just going to be a hunting episode. Bug meat and red meat. Uh, Simon's in great shape. Edmund's gone. So sleep-wise, they're good. So 94%. Rest only 11%. Interesting. Carter's coming back. Full crashing. Hmm. Kana, you are in great shape. And Umiar is in great shape. So let's grab everybody, draft all of you, and come on down. And... Hmm. Get to here. Rita can take a shot. If for some reason they all decide to attack, we can retreat. Just in case they go a little berserk. Just in case the rules are different for a migration versus a hunting trip. Otherwise, I think I will choose my own targets rather than have them just firing indiscriminately at everything out here and wounding more than we actually need to deal with. But it does make sense to take advantage of this migration a little bit while we're here. Um, all right, you guys move in a little bit closer. Kana, you too. Why don't you go ahead and... All right, you three... Take a shot. You got to go that far to do it. Okay. So, Kana, you attack also. Get you into the same place. Boom, 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 boom. Didn't stun. Stun this poor guy. He didn't mean to be shot. He's probably going to get a little, a little angry there. All right, we have an attack. Yep, a little angry there. Kana... You guys take this guy out. He's going to spit at you for a while. Okay, did that get any of us? No. Alright. So you guys now take this guy out. He's stunned. Okay. Rita. Come on over. Now I can mark these guys manually to hunt. And when they're drafted, they will deal with that. So let's do that. Let's try to keep them all pretty much together. No, it didn't work. Really? Not in range. Okay. So you guys head to here. Rita, you get a little closer. And they should attack this guy automatically. There they go. And stunned. Okay, Rita. Take him down. Maybe we'll go for like all oh, five of them. So you hunt and you hunt. All right. So you guys all head to here, about like that, or like that. Okay, Rita, you head in a little closer, right there. Yep, their short range is really frustrating. Go to here, Rita, get your shot, and then go to here.
Okay, so we're just about done here. One more shot, this guy's down. Okay, so all of you guys undraft. And Rita, let's send you off on the next mission. Do we have an Edmund yet? We don't. Expedition, expedition. Okay. Though I would expect Carter to back almost immediately because he still hasn't... Well, I guess he's sleeping now. He was 11%, I think, if that was the right bar. Um, but Rita, let's get you back and ready to take off, and hopefully we can find some crystals somewhere. Maybe we'll send you on a bunch of three-hour trips, three- or five-hour trips, and get a couple of them in. Maybe even two of them today. That's possible. Um, so why don't you come on up and... Oh, for starters, just get a rest, undraft, and sit and relax. Let's get this bar up, then maybe we'll just send you out. Maybe by then one of the others will be back. Okay, so everybody else, uh, right there, draft. So you're all undrafted? You are. Okay, where are you? You're over here. Kana, uh, Kana, I want you getting to work. So come on out here and... Repair, handle, nothing else in your list. Okay, handle, and just keep working your way through. Handle, whole bunch of traps. Okay, is that everything? Appears to be. And if you have anything left, let's do this. Repair, and fences, no repairing needed there. Floors are fine. Kana, why don't you repair fences and fences and fences and fences. Is that everything? Seems to be. Okay, so that's Kana's plan. Who's left? Meals? We're still hurting on meals. So Paulette, go off and do you. So that leaves us with Simon, who is transporting. How about you, Butcher, and Butcher, and then Umear, you're doing good here. I get you, you're the last one, so you're going to have to Butcher all the rest. So let's double click, and there is no, there we go, Butcher you. Guess that's all. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so Umear, you are going to butcher these guys and that one. I think that is all. Simon, I think you've got these two. You've got these three. Somebody's going to bring back, hopefully, the meat while someone else brings back the leather. We'll see how that goes. I'll just stay here and babysit if I can make it happen. Balloon returning. Good. Here comes, I'm assuming, Carter. I saw the shadow. There it is. Right there. Someone's coming in. There, Carter. So Carter brought back a whole bunch of scrap metal. That's right. We should be able to click here and see what's coming in. There it is. Bring back 10 meals and 70 scrap metal. Okay. Okay. So, Carter, you can put the scrap metal away. Malfunction ceiling lamp. Um, yep, yeah, may as well. So you haul that in. And you did it. Good. Didn't grab three to go fix something. Good. <laughs> Here's the other balloon coming in. Okay, so Edmund, you are going to do a couple of things. So there's our meals. Edmund, condition, pretty bad. You're probably crushingly unhappy. Just a low mood. Hmm. I was going to have you do a few things. Dare I? I was going to have you refuel the balloon. So do that, and then bring this in. Haul in. And then you'll hopefully start taking care of yourself after that. Rita's going to go sit and get her relaxation up, and then we'll send her off in that balloon as soon as it gets refueled. Well, maybe not as soon as. Let's get her rating up a little bit more. 
Maybe up to 50%. Her happiness isn't bad. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do a 50%. So... Let's see here. Expedition. So, a short one. You are now at 5 hours. You are at 3 hours. Let's send Rita to this one first, and then we'll do the 5 hour after. Maybe she'll get back in time to do both of them this episode. So, it's Rita and send Expedition. And Rita is not going to get the order instantly, right? Yes, she did. Okay. So that's just going to be good enough. She's grabbing two meals. Risk a meltdown Carter. Carter's playing darts. So whatever she grabbed, hopefully she can eat that on the way. A meal there and a meal back. That works. All right, so Edmund is transporting. Then he needs to get some food. And then i got to go check on the, the two guys over there butchering. Okay, you are not repairing. You are eating. What do we got for you to eat around here? Uh, right clicks aren't doing anything. Emergency rations. Um, there's a meal over here. Eat some grain porridge. Okay. <clears throat> so what's happening over here? You guys are already walking. You are already walking. So Edmund's got 109. Or Simon's got 109. Ah, eh, we'll call that good enough. So this would be Umayar's last one. I don't see any more Ulfen on the ground. So I need to send Simon out. You are actually in pretty good shape. Oh, that is you. Okay. So when you're done, come on down here and try to find all of the leather. Yeah, there's some. So when you're done, haul hides. And then if I can do that, have you come pick up this one. There would be another one over here. Over here somewhere. Ah, there. And something like over here? There we go. Or is that... I think that was it. We'll go with that. Okay. So Kana has been working on traps all day. Carter is helping, though he's about to break down, isn't he? Well, he's at low mood. Oh, I wish there was some food over here. What do you actually need? You need a rest. And some relaxation would probably get you through. Hmm. Kana, how you doing? You've been down here all day. You're in great shape still. Okay. So, Carter, how about you just go play some darts some more? Is there any relaxation that I can stick down here? Problem with that, though, is they might just get the command to go down there and do it from up here it's possible I don't know though let's try it it won't do any good right now but I could put this even on the outside lightning rod is over there sure I can stick it right there so relaxation leisure let's stick a dartboard right there doesn't have to be built right now okay so Carter I need you not to break on me Let's just give you something fun to do real quick. Go and... Well, I would think punching a pole is going to be exhausting. So... Well, you would think the sitting and relaxing would add to your rest, wouldn't it? You do that. When you're done, then you can come back and repair some more. Kana, you just do the traps and that'll be good. Alright, so Rita has taken off. Um, Paulette is transporting, and then Paulette, when you're done with that, can you refuel this? Paulette. No, right click won't work. Really? It's been refueled. Oh. Edmund did all of it. Okay. How you doing? You're fuel up as well. Okay. How did the batteries fare? We're above 50%. What are we actually on this one? 59%, okay. And as a whole, during the day with four solar panels, we have a positive 28 coming in. Okay, that looks good. 
traps meets Simon is already on his way back. Uh, ooh, small evergreen tree. Okay, so she is discovering things. But still, that's something that was already on our map. So, come on back. Well, you've got to get to your destination first. Then you can come back and we'll maybe send you out again. You might be too tired to leave. We'll see how the game deals with that. One time I tried to send Edmund out and he went to bed and he flat out ignored me. I would not get onto that balloon. So, alright, you are collecting a whole bunch of these. There may be more than you can carry. That's possible. Alright, superconductors. Uh, managed to pull out some. Good job. Okay, so let's get back over here so that we can click here. And she has three of them coming. Good. Evan brought three once, then he brought four once. Paulette is handling a cook stove. Are we out of sticks? We have 500 sticks. Are they all truly? You need tea. Okay. Well, you bring that tea in. Are you harvestable? You are not. Okay. You? You. No. So you... Bring in the tea and never come back out here again, please. Thank you. So that means her run speed is back to normal again. She no longer has the lightning damage. Good. Small evergreen tree. This small fur-like tree could be cut down for a bit of wood. I didn't notice anything else of interest, but some, but gathered some of its cones for seedlings or seeding. Okay. So yeah, not, not as much wood. Evergreens are 20s. I don't know where we've got a small one nearby. There's an evergreen. 20. Um, you are smaller, but there must be a grove of just small ones around here somewhere. Alright, so Simon is bringing back 157. Any left on the ground out here? There's two little dots there. That's poo. Okay. So you got it all. Great. Kana is still... Rep oh, she's repairing, I see. Uh, Carter is constructing stairs. So I guess he went off to do his own thing. She's doing her own thing. And we're done. Okay, you go play darts. Carter is going to build staircases because the wood's already in there. And they were queued up before these, so I guess I was wrong about needing to build fences before anything else. Apparently they do want to do what was queued up first before anything else. I guess it makes sense. Okay, Paulette's on her way in to make some tea. Edmund is playing a didgeridoo. Umayar is researching carbon armor. Otherwise, we've got chemical cloth synthesis next. Um, I melt down Edmund. Let's get incendiary traps going. Let's get sensor devices going. And we'll get pacifier. Well, yeah, we get pacifiers just to have them in the list. Once we get the fence done, we might start playing a little more with taming animals. All right, so I want to see if Rita can come back in a condition where she can leave again. Probably not. Probably have to be first thing next episode, but I can see sending Rita out over and over again, especially since enough of the planting and harvesting is done to not worry about it. And see if we can figure out what the heck a energy crystal is. We need 30 of them to make a power cell. Hmm... Yep. The game, that's the problem with playing an early access game. It keeps advancing long after the series has, uh, before the series has run its course. So let's get you, can I get you to leave just like right now? Will that be irresponsible? You might come back full on happiness. You'll get rest when you're there. You'll have meals when you're there. It's just the relaxation part. You might be able to do it. Let's try it. Expedition, let's send you out on the five hour. Right there. 
Rita, send, and Rita. Okay, draft, undraft. On an expedition, go grab some meals. Looks like you're going for fruitcake. Good choice. That'll fix a lot of things. And you'll be fine. Good. So you're going to go do that. I need somebody else handling a fireplace. Probably important. Umiar, why don't you come and pick these up before it rains or something. Bring in the CPU cores. And Simon is transporting leather. That is actual leather, though. Leather for the dartboard. Oh, okay. Insufficient materials for the dartboard. Okay. So I need another round of smelting. Do we have ore in stock? Ore. Are you there? Ore. Where's crafting? That's ore right there. 270. Okay. So in that case, Simon, it is midnight though. Simon, your rest. Let's get one going. When you're done with that, do just one of these. And then hopefully next episode I will remember to queue up the rest of them. I should have done that at the beginning of this episode, but I guess we were a little busy, huh? Yeah. Alright, handling a furnace. We have one trap left to do. Someone's going to walk all the way down here to do that one trap, aren't you? Oh well. Edmund, you go to sleep. Carter's sleeping. Need somebody to fuel this up. Umayar is eating. And you need rest, so I won't bother you anymore. They all need to go to sleep. So I think that is a cue for this episode to be done. No point in watching me just telling everybody to go to bed. So, thanks for watching, folks, and we'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.